I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, Roger Dean. It's a Roger yeah. Dean. Yeah. Did you, uh, you have any special relationship with that particular picture? No idea. Aha, uh -huh. okay. T tell us. <laughs> tell me the truth. Uh, you sent that to me about 40, 40 some years ago. I did. You did. Hi, oh, wow, that's amazing. You, you, you uh, I don't know how your memory is doing on, on stuff like this. Oh, but I, was make, I was making Olias, I remember now. That's so, it, Olias yeah. of Sun Hillo. Yeah. An album that has been growing on me for a long, there you go, for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely album idea, and very interesting. Yeah, well, I, I remember your, uh, your explaining the idea of it, and I was thinking, hmm, I've read a lot of science fiction, and that one's different. Very true. But, <laughs> but uh, that, uh, that brings back some, uh, some really interesting memories for me. This is, what, about 73, 74, I think. Yeah, 74. And... Uh, you came to London. Say again? You came to London? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I had a special burden with me, uh, <laughs> Tony's Harmonizer Prototype. That's it. Wow. With, uh, with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the first use of that product. Wasn't quite the product then, uh, right. ever. Right. And it was a really interesting album. And uh, I, I remember that visit uh, to this day, unsurprisingly. It, it was the first and only use of that prototype. And for good reason. I don't think it made it, I don't I'm not think sure it, it survived the trip back. I don't think it survived the trip back, no. Yeah. But I was always very grateful, you know, to be able to use it because, you know, it was very, you know, electronic music at that time. Uh, I was uh, studying a guy called Ilan Mimaroglu, quite famous uh, electronic musician at that time in the 60s and then into the 70s. And uh, to be able to manufacture sounds that really hadn't been heard before. And uh, it was a, a very magical experience for me.